Well hello there YouTube, my name is Tim and in this tutorial we're gonna make a notepad actually and yeah yeah change that I don't know why Windows does that actually but uh, I'm gonna start off by making a new project I'm gonna call this notepad tutorial if I can spell it right and I'm, yeah Windows application form Windows form application Sorry. <clears throat> Wait for it to start up. It's taking a while. And I'm gonna start by making this window a little bit bigger. And we're gonna add a thing called a menu strip. And I think if you, I'm just gonna go up and stick a point. If you click on this and this little arrow, yeah, insert standard items. You get file, new, open, save, save as. We can remove print, print and preview, edit, undo, redo, cut, copy, paste, um, tools, custom. You can just remove the tools thing. Up contents index search about. Well, we can remove these kind of stuff. So we just have the about. And um, yeah, that's about what we have to do. And also a text box. Click on it, this little arrow, and select multi-line. Now go down to the properties window and search for the thing called a dock. There it is. Select fill. And there you have it, your whole form. Now if I start this up. This is a little bit slow right now. Yeah, here you see. Hi YouTube. My name is Tim, and yeah, it is. Here you can see that's how it works. Well, what I want to say this. You do just as a button or a text box or whatever. I go, I click on File, and I go to Save. Double click. So, there's one thing we need to do. Up here it says, hey, I'm gonna use the things that's in these libraries. A library is a um, class, a DLL file, and this is what we are using. Those are always used. Um, you could put this right here, but I'm gonna put it here. So, using system if I can spell it, system.io IO stands for in out, I expect. And the reason I like to write my using statements down one below this is so I can see what statements did I add and what of them are added automatically. Well, anyway. When you're working with files in C sharp, you work with things called streams. Um, you could work with this just a stream, but that's I haven't done this actually, to be honest with you. I'm using Stream Writer and Stream Reader. Um, so the Stream Writer is obviously when you want to write something, so that's what we're gonna use because we want to save it, we want to write it to file but yeah, that's what we're gonna use but we want this dialog to pop up and say like where do you want to save this file and name and stuff so uh, yeah we'll do this save file dialog this is just like a variable 
type is save file dialog, and then the name. Let's make it save dialog. Just like that. I want to set it equal to a new save file dialog in parentheses semicolon. That's all you have to do. Now you have that. But you have to show it. But we're gonna do this in the if statement to see if the user clicked save or if he closed the window or whatever. Because we only wanna save it if the user clicked save. Alright? So if save dialog dot show dialog parentheses double equal signs you'll get the system the windows that forms the dialog result just press period or dot or whatever and then ok and your brackets and in here we wanna make our stream writer object I usually name an SW <coughs> equal to new stream writer and in here, you're supposed supposed to enter the path. So, let's see the path. Well, he entered that in the save dialog. So, save dialog. Dot. Oh, let's see here. File name. Gets or sets a string containing the file name selected in the file dialog box. Yeah, that's it. There we have it. Now, what we have to do is we have to write a text in the text box to this file. Alright? SW dot and write. Not that hard. And we want to write a text that's in this text box. And we want we want to write the text and then we have to close the stream otherwise it won't work so if I open this now and I say hi file save you can see we get this type of thing if I go to my desktop now I have a lot of stuff here I will do like test.. Test.txt and we'll get to show. Yeah, that didn't work, so we'll do it here. Desktop test. If I open this, you can see it says hi, just as we wrote in here. So we can also save files. It isn't that hard, is it? Oh, nice. <laughs> uh, let's close that and we want to add some things here save dialog the is it filter i think yep equal to yep and we're gonna save dot txt no, start dot txt then this line and dot txt. I think that's how you write it. So if I say hi, where the fuck did that come? Yeah, as you can see, it appended the dot txt automatically. I didn't have to choose it, and it's automatically chosen down here. So that's how you do it. Now, we want to make the open. And it isn't hard that either. I should guess open file dialog. It's almost the same text actually. And open dialog equal to new open file dialog. Open. No, we don't have to have a filter on this. Or oh, we can. Okay equal to that and the uh, start dot txt line dot txt and then if open dialog dot show dialog parentheses equals double equal signs equals system dot windows dot form dot dialog result 
okay. Then we're gonna do stream reader sr equal to new stream reader and just as before the path open file dialog dot file name and then this dot textbox one dot text is equal because we're gonna set the value sr dot read to end parentheses semicolon and just close the stream reader by writing sr.close and parentheses of course now <coughs> the new one isn't that hard but I want to add one thing I want to say I want to make a public string saved text equal to nothing and then we s when we save the file I want to say this dot saved text is equal to remember I'm gonna set the text now this dot textbook one dot text I want to make it open I can say yeah let, let's just put this in a function actually let's do that public void save file and just put it in there and they save you just do this dot save not save text this dot save file parentheses and semicolon and this is gonna work just the same but the reason I did that is because I'm gonna call on that on multiple places and um, now we can do this if we cut this out Um no, we don't have to cut that out. We'll just do this if message box as now we're gonna check if the message box button yes was clicked. Dot show. Now the question is Do you want to save the current file? and save question mark and message box buttons yes no but I'm actually gonna check yeah let's do that system that window double equal signs of the D message box that show statement and then yes and do your brackets but I'm gonna check two statements statements in this if thing if statement it isn't that hard actually it's just you put the first statement I'm gonna say if this dot save text if that is not equal to that's a yeah what to call it thing and uh, a equal sign not double equal signs just that thing I don't remember the name and an equal sign and then this dot textbox one dot text and double and signs if that's the name yeah you get it um, <coughs> well if well if the save text is equal to the text box then there have been no changes it's no reason to save the file again but if there was a change do I want to save it if he presses yes we're gonna do this dot save file and that's how it's gonna work and then it will go on doing that and this thing we can just copy paste and then down here we say this dot textbox one dot text is equal to nothing that's all we have to do so if I go in here and I'll say like hey I want to open a file no problem but now if I want to open a file it's gonna say hey you haven't saved that don't want to save it if I press yes I get this I can do test yes I want to override then I get the open file 
But now, as that is saved, I'm just gonna get this. And if I do that, it's gonna say, hey, you haven't saved that. Do I wanna save it? No. I will get the open. So, yeah. The same thing is with the new. Do I wanna save the current file? No. There you have it. New file. We can remove this save as. The exit is really simple actually. File, exit, is just this dot close. Not that hard actually. Um, next up, edit. We can just remove this. And now, I'm gonna show you how to make another window pop up. As I said in the previous tutorial, you're gonna learn a lot on this tutorial. To add a new window to a application, you go to Project, Add Windows Form. But I'm gonna add a About box. And I'm just gonna name it About. And no, yeah, well, we can have it there. If we go into the code by double clicking, you can see public about. This the text is about assembly title, assembly production. Yeah, I believe this fixes itself. Well, we haven't made a code to make it pop up yet. Well, if we go to help and double click about, and then do about, just like a variable. The type about, as the name, the full name is about, and I'm just gonna name it ab equal to new about. Because this, oh, this and this is just like a, it's just like, hey, it should look like this. But it really isn't anything. So you have to make it an object, an instance of that object to be able to show it. But now, ab dot ab dot show that's all you have to do there so help about notepad tutorial versions 1.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0 .0 copyright 2012 and that is something I don't know what it is but if we go into here go into the about yeah description um, we can remove that actually and we can double click this and say this dot close. And yeah, we are pretty much done, I believe. And this is a picture box. To change the picture, all I have to do is go down here, click that, or press this little arrow and do choose image. Here are the different modes also for how the image should be placed inside the picture box. So, next tutorial, we're gonna take this a little further, but I'm gonna have to show you a race before that. So, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching this tutorial, and I hope you got it working. Otherwise, just ask me. Post a comment or whatever. Yeah, we can remove that line. Otherwise it would say, hey, this textbook doesn't exist, so I can set this. But that's because we removed it. But anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.